right? So oftentimes people will have a period of really high stress followed by a crash. From a nervous system perspective, that's like I was in fight or flight so long. I was trying, I was trying, I was trying. Nothing was working. Nothing's getting better. And so eventually my brain decides, okay, enough with the fight or flight. Let's just go into the shutdown mm -hmm. and try to wait, wait this out. And that literally looks like depression where it's like low I was just going to ask energy, that. Low yeah, motivation. Is that, is that like severe depression? Could that be linked to that? Them just their, their nervous system being so high for so long and then finally it has to come down and so that's what where yeah. they get stuck a nervous system that's healthy will go into all of these different states throughout the day like we'll dip into fight or flight a little bit we'll dip into shut down a little bit you know all that's kind of complex like we could be in coexisting states you know like mm -hmm. so if i'm let's say i'm playing a sport right mm -hmm. so i'm both in my safety zone state and in my fight or flight state because i'm in that competitive Mm -hmm. But but because I still feel safe, I'm just kind of dipping into fight or flight. Right. Or I could kind of dip into shutdown. Like it's the end of a really long day and I just want to be alone and I want to watch Parks and Rec for like right. three hours. And <laughs> stare. So like right. I'm dipping into shutdown, but I'm not staying there.